Hey everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I want to talk about um, raw vegan transition strategy. Um, now I'm going to be a disclaimer right off the bat. I have not used a lot of these. I haven't used very many of them. I, I like a lot of times when I'm talking about the food, the raw vegan lifestyle transition and such, um, I'm thinking outside of my box because I've just kind of done the lifestyle. But I think you can take principles that work in other areas of life and apply them to other areas of life and um, and they can be quite helpful. So I struggle in some other things and I've been um, working on some habits of mine, listening to some different things and uh, just thinking in a little bit different way. So I've done transition videos in the past, but I just wanted to do it again today with sort of a different kind of perspective, but still going back to the basic um, the basic points. Um, in the end, if you want to be raw vegan, you're going to be raw vegan. That's about as simple as I can say for you there. Um, and, and you know what? One other thing I'm going to tell you too, and this is like I say, you walk a fine line when you talk about this message. You have to make yourself accountable. You know, if you just want to hang out in these groups and sing Kumbaya with everybody, uh, every time you have a failure, almost celebrating a failure, you're around people that aren't going to succeed. And one of the biggest pieces of advice anybody will give you in life, if you want to be successful at something, be put yourself around others that are successful at that same endeavor. So if you're just kind of like in these groups and, you know, and hey, I'm all for, uh, you know, uh, loving yourself and not being hard on yourself and and loving and supporting other people but sometimes these little pity parties just um, they're of no use to anybody and if you recognize that and if you're hanging out in groups forums whatever like that get out of that weak energy that's like you know yeah you do want supportive people I'm gonna say over beach over the head with this one just so it's not misunderstood I'm not saying you want to be uh, rude with people um, I'm not saying you want to be harsh with yourself when you don't measure up to where you want to be on this lifestyle, but you do have to hold yourself accountable. Um, and for the millionth time, it's not sexy advice, it's not new advice, but I want it to just sink in. Make yourself a plan. Make yourself a plan. If you have to, listen, if this is important enough to you, you have to decide, like, if you're struggling. I'm always trying to speak to the people that are either new on this lifestyle or that are struggling on this lifestyle. If something's important to you, you will put the effort in. You will put that extra into it to do. Like I say, I've never had to, I, don't, I didn't have to make a plan. I don't have to write things down. But you bet your ass that if I had struggled on this lifestyle or if I struggle on something, I'm going to do, I'm going to put the effort in to do things like this. Um, and a lot of it has to do in your planning stage with, um, you got to be realistic. And there, I'm learning a lot of little tricks, and I've talked about this in a video recently. Um, you know, uh, you need to have an active plan, number one. A transition, and I've said this over and over, is not a place where you just park and you kind of hang out and you don't know what's going on. Um, you know, if you have to do it, Get up every morning. I've seen a lot of, I've been reading, you know, in some of my reading, I've noticed a lot of people that are, you know, uh, highly successful um, and very productive people in whatever they do, it's not always about money, have certain habits. If you have to in the morning, get up and write down, write down three things. You're, if you're having a tr trouble on this lifestyle, if you're new to this lifestyle, get up and write down three things that you're going to focus on today. If you've got to get up and do that every day, Get certain things you focus on. That's how you engage your mind into this process and how that will help you um, like move forward and be successful is because the mind likes these, um, the mind likes small psychological victories. That's something I want to talk about. When you're moving, like I like to see no matter how slowly you transition, I like to never go backwards, getting to a certain point, getting to a certain point and always working forward, always working forward. And then every little um, step you take forward, it's a small step. It, all, it might not even be a, a noticeable step, but it's a step forward, which means that's a win, which means that's a psychological win and that reinforces the brain and that makes you feel good. It releases chemicals, I'm sure. Um, and that encourages you. And each one of those little small victories um, gives you momentum to go on. Um, so do that. 
If you need to do that, get up in the morning. Um, take just a few minutes on this lifestyle. I, I can tell you what you could do right now. A couple of things to do um, that could be immensely helpful. Okay, you're keeping your journal. So, um, you know, you're, during the day you're writing down what you're eating. Okay, maybe in that same journal each morning you start that journal out um, by listing those three things that you're going to work on. Three trouble spots maybe. Uh, three three places where you've had uh, issues, um, anything. But you take those three things that you're gonna focus on working on today, and that kind of occupies your mind. And it can be as simple, listen, you can take baby steps. Those three things can be as simple as, you know, maybe you're new to eating all this fruit. Maybe I'm gonna eat two more bananas today, or this is a trouble area for me, you know, um, okay, at, uh, every morning around 10.30 or so, I get that mid-morning kind of, uh, I want something, you know, so you prepare. And, but you just list those things, whatever they are for you. And, you know, some people might be listening to this right now and go, well, that's kind of tedious to do. Well, like I say, it all goes back to how um, motivated you are to succeed on this lifestyle. How much you, it's your why, too. It always goes back to that why. Why are you doing this lifestyle? Why should you be working so hard on this lifestyle? Play with it, play tricks with your brain. Play, have inner dialogues with yourself. Like, ask your brain, why is it tripping you up so much? Why do you have to do all this uh, work? To, um, to switch to a healthier lifestyle. It should just be instinctual, it should be natural. You should be able to just kind of uh, work these little thoughts out in your head. But anyhow, just kind of the process I'm, I'm um, working on in some other areas of life. Like I say, I kind of like my, my um, new year always comes about three, three weeks into the year sometimes around the, you know, about that fourth week of January. So that's when I've started really working on some uh, and focusing on some areas of my life. And like I say, since to be quite honest, this food part has really been pretty simple for me. I mean, not that I do it perfect. When I say it like that, I'm not bragging or anything. You know, I'm not fully raw. I don't eat 100% raw all the time. I probably use some ingredients and things that people would take exception to, but Eh, for the most part, I eat a lot of fruit. I'm pretty much damn near fruitarian. Uh, probably about 70% of my calories come from fruit. And I eat very clean, and the lifestyle has just been, this part, the eating has been simple. But there's other things, like I say, that don't come as easily, and you can use a lot of these techniques um, in different areas of your life. And I'm hoping that's maybe, you know, use some pra Do whatever you've got to do. Do whatever you've got to do. I'll finish up um, talking about uh, this transition strategy by... Just be, be creative. Use your mind. I'm doing, you know, maybe it's because I got, I'm by myself all the time and I got lots of time in my own head and I'm always trying to problem solve and figure out little things on my own. But, you know, I do whatever I got to do. I use little mental tricks. I use little dialogues. I use whatever. But do whatever you've got to do to make this lifestyle work. Be active about it. That's the biggest part of the transition strategy. You have to be active. This is, you, and you can't just like sit back kind of hoping this will happen. If you are active, if you get in there, if you get engaged and you kind of like work this program and move it forward, you know, eventually you may not need to do, maybe you need to do this for two weeks. Maybe you need to do it for a month until it just becomes um, natural. But I would say once you instill those good habits, like sitting down in the morning, focusing, what, uh, focusing on what you're gonna work on today, focusing on your trouble spots, those are all little things we can use in a lot of different areas in life. So, um, like I say, plan your transition, be active during your transition, always be moving forward, no matter how slow, always be adding in a little bit more uh, whole fresh plant food, fruits and vegetables, and be reducing those things that don't serve us, be reducing. You know, if you're coming all the way from standard, hardcore standard American, Start reducing those animal products as quickly as possible. Um, get rid of that processed food, but do it all in a manner that's going to be sustainable for you because like the old cliche, this is a marathon, not a sprint. It's not about to see how good you can do in a month or two and be the perfect raw vegan and how quick you can get there. It's about what you're, gonna, what you're doing now is going to lead to what you're doing a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, instilling these habits in yourself to make this a long-term success instead of just some little flash in the pan. Anyhow, just my two cents worth. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. 
Hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click on the little bell and ch check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. And hope you are having a wonderful week. Um, I guess this is going to come out on hump day, Wednesday. So just a couple more days and it'll be weekend. See you guys. Peace.